I am Seabury New Collins. Uh, I'm a physics PoE. I'm actually a super senior. It's my fifth year here because I switched majors early on. Um, what was your first major? Mathematics. Mathematics. So it's pretty close. I mean, <laughs> I could have I could have finished in four and a half years if I really wanted to. Mathematic music, man. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, they don't have a music POE here. Otherwise, that'd be my minor, I think. But, oh well. If uh, they did have a music POE, which, what would you focus on since you play so many different things? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that, that'd be the tough thing. Um, I think ultimately I'd want to end up focusing on percussion. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if they had a real drum set, and if they gave us... Uh, you know, more than one room to practice in for all the percussionists, then I'd probably spend, you know, two or three hours there every day. Well, if it was my major, you know, it'd be more than that, but... So percussion my, my is mind. your main deal? These days, yeah. When, when I grew up, it was definitely saxophone, you know. And I'm still better at saxophone, because, I don't know, eight years more experience, it's hard to <laughs> overcome. Right. <laughs> but, you know... I, I, I hope to become good someday. Um, I wouldn't say, like, um, drum set is my main thing, though. I mean, I wish it was. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite thing. Okay, Seabury, could you just explain to uh, us what you're doing right now? Um, well, I'm looking um, at a song that I recently composed on the software. It's called Logic Pro. Um, and... I mean, I finished it, but I'm sort of going through it sort of over and over again, you know, sort of, you know, you're never really satisfied with it. Mm -hmm. Just want to keep working on it. And what is Logic Pro? Logic Pro is, um, it's a music software that um, people uh, usually use it for, like, um, electronica and stuff. You can, I use uh, sequencers on here. Mm -hmm. and software instruments to make my own songs, but you can also work with live instruments. It gives you all sorts of effects you can apply, and, you know, you can, I don't know, you can change the speed and all sorts of fun stuff. exactly did you do what you just did? Um, well, like I said, it's all software instruments, um, and, like, n that wasn't actually a real guitar. It was my best attempt at imitating a guitar, which is extremely hard to do, actually. Who and I, that? It just, a guitar has so much nuance that you can't pick up with a MIDI sequencer, you know? Um, right. You know, a MIDI sequencer, basically, you say, Here's this note. Here's how loud I want it to be, and here's where I want to put it. It's basically all you've got to work with. So right. every note on guitar sounds the same. You cannot, for example, um, hammer on, pull off, forget it. Um, palm muting, you have to get a different instrument <laughs> and set it to, you know, that sounds like a palm muted guitar, and then switch between the two. You know, it, it like basically none of my songs actually have subtle guitar lines. Um, so that's why, like, eventually when I get good enough at guitar, I want to start, you know, putting my own guitar lines in here instead of relying on the sequencer, but I'm not at that level yet, unfortunately. Sounds good to me. How often do you get to play the guitar? Um, realistically, almost uh, never. Maybe once or twice a week. I have too many other things to do. So, it's kind of a shame.
So when did you start playing the guitar? Um, I started playing the guitar when I was about 18 years old. I uh, just picked it up as a hobby uh, because there wasn't very much to do in my little small town that I lived in. So uh, it gave me something to do in the hours of boredom that I had. <laughs> what is your major? Uh, business. So does it help you to get a good balance between studying and free time? to play the guitar? Yeah, sometimes it's a pretty good reason to procrastinate doing work and uh, I, I kind of like it so um, yeah but mostly I feel like it's a way to kind of just have some kind of creative outlet because sometimes in school you're so stuck to doing what other people tell you and sometimes it's nice to just do something on your own. When did you start playing the guitar? Well, I started really early when I was like seven or eight years old. But um, I learned classical guitar for like more than ten years. So this kind of stuff that is actually presentable towards uh, people my age now um, I just started when I was around 17 probably, so that would be seven years ago. And what kind of function does the guitar have in your everyday life right now? None actually, because I don't get to play it a lot because of uh, schoolwork, but whenever I do play it, I basically use it to show off and uh, get girls. It is important to like have some kind of balance to all the shit you have to do and then just sometimes go and scream and play your fingers bloody and then that helps a lot. the street here we have BAC which forget do you spend a lot of time in BAC as a physicist yes <laughs> yes okay 
every class I have is in DAC. <laughs> every one? This semester, yes. Holy Next hell. semester I get a feeling good and you know it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a punny so man. Sorry. You're a punny, punny man. <laughs> no, that was terrible. Alright. Now, this is actually pretty cool because we have the music building right across the street from what's essentially a science building. Yeah, physics, <laughs> computer science, math. And, okay. So we're just going to take a waltz in here and you can show the nice people at home <laughs> what you do. See, um, you, you probably learned all these notes. Um, the first one, just the first three fingers on it. Mm -hmm. oh. What? Um. <laughs> um, so that random blackout, um, we think was, we think this might be a motion detector. We're not sure. <laughs> Or is he free? Are we ever free? <laughs> <laughs>